Hi everyone. Today's mini lesson is 2-1, adding integers. The first example, we're going to use a number line to find the sum. So the sum is 2 plus negative 7. 2 being the positive number, we're going to start there. So I'm going to show we're going to go from 0. This is just one of the ways you can use a number line. We're going to go from 0 to 2. And then from 2, we're going to go back 7. The negative would be like going to the left or backwards 7. So I'm going to go back 7 spots. I like the loops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which will land me at my answer of negative 5. That's one way you could use the number line to find your answer. In example 2, we have 5 plus a negative 6. 5 being a positive value, 6 being a negative value. You want to decide which one there's more of, or the absolute value is larger, which would be 6 um, being the negative number. So your answer is ultimately going to be negative. 5 plus a negative 6 would be the difference of 1. If they're opposites, you can subtract and keep the sign of the larger. So we're going to do the same strategy with the second one, negative 4 plus 9. They're opposites, so we're going to subtract and keep the sign of the larger. 9 take away 4 would be a positive 5. And then on the last one here, we have 10 plus a negative 3 plus a positive 4. So you can group the positives together if you'd like to first or go from left to right. It's probably safer to go left to right if you're unsure. 10 plus a negative 3, they're opposites, so we subtract and keep the sign of the larger. 7, 7 positive, plus the 4 still, 7 plus 4, 11. And then our last example here, a word problem. Um, with the calorie count, it, when calories are going into your body, we're going to look at those as positives, and leaving your body, we're going to look at those as negative numbers. So Monday morning, she was very hungry, and her mom let her eat six nuggets, french fries, and a classic vanilla frosty for breakfast, which sounds like a good breakfast to me. And then afterwards, um, she ran two miles and then did 10 minutes of CrossFit. The calories going into her body, we're going to add up over here on the side, so 270, 220, and 190. So we're going to do some old school addition here, since we're, we don't have a calculator. 7, 2, um, plus 9, 8, carry the 1. Um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 680 are going into her body, and then leaving would be the calories that she has burned. Those are going to be negatives. Since they're both negative, I'm going to add and keep the negative sign. So it's going to be a negative 360 calories. So when I put the two of these together, 680, basically adding the negatives so I can subtract and keep the sign of the larger, and I have more calories coming in, so it's still going to be a positive. And I'm going to have an overall balance of 320 calories left.